What's going on guys? It's me, Dreamliner Fan 2016 here, and today we are the Airliner to the National 2023 Day 2 vlog for you guys. I hope you guys are excited for today's video, and without being said, let's get started. Welcome to the Airliners to the National 2023 Day 2 vlog. Really excited to dive down into Day 2 of the convention. We have some amazing things to go into, so why don't we do that? No need to explain more on what's going to happen, but instead of the collectible show opening at 12pm, it opens at 9am, so it gives out plenty of time to look for some models and aviation memorabilia. So after freshening up myself and going down to the lobby to grab a small breakfast, let's roll into the first video clip I took. What's going on guys and welcome to Day 2 of the Airliners International Day 2 collectible show. Right now, I'm currently in the lobby right now. The convention hall has already opened. And I do got my sandwich with me, so I can at least have like a good breakfast and then head to the Grand Ballroom, well, the Enterprise Ballroom, so I can collect more models. So, yeah, it's kind of like pretty much the same. Oh, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like the same day, but I'm super excited for the spotting meetup that's going to be happening later today. Yeah, very exciting stuff right here for today. Today is Friday the 23rd. And welcome back to the Enterprise Ballroom. As you can pretty much tell, everything is the same as day one. We got a nice amount of attendees looking at vendor tables and checking out the mall planes they have in store. I didn't take any pictures once I entered the ballroom because I immediately went to DG Pilot's vendor table where I get to meet Connor and the boys. Connor was interviewing Donnie as soon as I arrived and I decided to check him out because he is an amazing guy. Shout out to him by the way. Let's have a look at this clip also. Especially if you have another job here in school, um, make sure you definitely have time um, and everything to uh, retail. It does take a lot of behind the scenes work, um, a lot of hours, a lot of planning to make the company as successful. Absolutely right. And I'm just looking at the stock. I mean, it's just incredible that you're able to have the foundation to be able to fund all this and have all the brands, all the miscellaneous pieces and still be able to hopefully make a profit. It's just absolutely incredible, it's super special. Absolutely, we're glad to be here. We just want to create a diverse selection of models um, for collectors, whether you like US, carriers, Europe, Asia, all over the world, you want to have carriers that represent um, those who find in the US and, and worldwide as well. So we just want a diverse selection of models. And of course, me being me, I decided to purchase a couple of models from them. I think I got a great deal with them. Super excited to add them to my collection as well. The next thing I ended up doing was I checked out on what's going on inside the competition room and I think I was absolutely blown away once I stepped inside. I think the next video clip can explain a lot more in detail, so why don't we roll into that clip of my initial reaction. Whoa, what is that? Oh my god. That's that CRJ, CRJ 700. What's up, Jerry Liner? What's up? Wow, look at this. Hey, November 5 to 1. You see their badges on their yeah. dresses. Wow. The cockpits, the, the pilots oh, in there. Oh, watch that. Hey, look at the chalks. Look at the chalks and the wearing on wow. it, too. Oh, my God. I, I don't need to explain. Them. I don't need to explain this either. This is just too much. Look at the Electra right here. Gosh. Oh my oh, god. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, Look at the chocks and the pilot. Wow. You're up there in the front. This, right. is, this is so cool. The fuel, the fuel truck. truck. Right wow. November 6101 Alpha. Oh my god. This is so cool. This literally took, this probably took three weeks or something. Oh, Three yeah. weeks. Close star one. Close star one. Lone star one looks really nice. Yeah, oh, what's what's the, the, what's the, 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 that's the original yeah, Lone Star yeah, one. Yeah, that's the yeah. mustard tail. Wait, which yeah. one? Is that 3,300? Uh, November 35255 Whiskey. Sierra Whiskey. November 3,525 Sierra Whiskey. But it's still 300. I guess that that must have been some sort of custom. It must have not been able to get one more. Yeah. Look at that shell fill truck and the JSX on the Yeah. Side. I love on how they added like the smoke detail when the That's what JS I'm saying, dude. The wear on the runway mat and just the model itself. I'm not gonna I'm I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, JSX, this, you want 45. This is so cool. I get tired of those, to be honest. I see them all the time. <laughs> JSX usually comes to Oakland, so hopefully I can catch one. I already seen one in San Diego, whether that's a E one thirty five. This is the one in Phoenix. 
Very cool. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Man, we really do some chilling. Yeah. So cool. Wow. All right, let's have a look at these entries right here. Starting off with a well-known aircraft, the Delta Connection Ember E-175 operated by Compass Airlines. This person did a wonderful job on creating this model. The amount of details from the radome, the engine cowling, and the antennas are top-notch. The printed detail of the livery is also great as well. Excellent job to the person who made this. Next up, we have a big-scale model of a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the heart livery. I think this person really put in a lot of effort into this model. There are nice 3D details from the beacon light and the antennas, but not only that, we also have some pitot tubes, which are also 3D as well. Now that is great level of detail right here. But I think the cool part about this model is the fact that there are pilots and passengers at the windows as well. I really love the addition of printed windows with passengers inside. Great work to this person as well. Here's another look at that outstanding American Eagle CRJ-700. As mentioned, a lot of detail has been put into this aircraft. From the wear on the apron to the badges on the flight attendants, this person put in a bunch of effort on making this, and the final product looks absolutely fantastic. And here's the beautiful American Airlines Lockheed L-188 Electra. I don't think I need to elaborate too much on this, but this person also did a fantastic job making this. I'll provide pictures to give you guys a glimpse look at the detail of this beauty. I also like on how each entry represents a certain era of aviation. It gives a nice look on what passenger travel was like compared to now. And how about this JSX Ember ERJ-145 landing? A very nice addition to the entry table. I love the smoke that is being represented here when the aircraft touches down on the runway. Another great detail to this work. And here's the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-300 in a Lone Star 1 livery with a desert tail. No elaboration needed, but it looks absolutely amazing and the detailing looks so cool. The next video clips you're about to see shows me giving my overall assessment on these small entries and a few extras lying around, as well as some photo entries as well. So why don't we roll into that right now? Look at this beautiful Delta Ember E-175 operating. I think that's Compass Airlines. Compass Airlines aircraft. Look at this. Look at the details. So you got like the cockpit right, right there. Wow. Look at all the wear and the antenna details. This is very nice. Yeah. Look at all the passengers. There's passengers. He printed like the passengers on the windows as well. Oh, you can sit on this side. Give yeah, it the pilots right there. Wow. Yeah, that is so cool. That is some There's like 3D pitot tubes as well and antennas. Oh, wow, look at this. That's an E-170. Compass Air operated aircraft. This now flies for SkyWest now. November 602 Charlie Zulu. Yeah. Very cool aircraft. That's a, I think that's like a Saab aircraft. That's a, that's a, that's a 1 to 100 scale. That's the most ugliest copy one that's ever seen. It's even worse than the baby bus. I mean, it looks cool. Looks cool. Then you got the look at the brand of 727 Dallas Stars. That is so cool. And then is that, is that the Comet? Ecuador. Yeah, Comet, the first commercial jet aircraft. How do you vote? Wow, this is so cool. Brand of 727. Yeah, the Dallas Stars livery. Is that, or is it the Dallas Mavericks? Oh, Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not good at football. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I Oh, And how about some amazing photos from all these photographers right here? Look at this Singapore AZ-80, KLM A330, landing at some place in the Caribbean. You got a United Evil Blue 767-400ER with a Ryanair 737-800 landing. Wait, is that 800? Yeah, that's an 800. And wow, Northwest 747. I think that's a 200 and a JL 747-200, I think. Look at this Qatar 777-200F, 777-F with all these birds flocking. ITA A320, United 763, United triple, triple, yeah, that's a triple three in the Continental Globe, Louis. 
We got the BOAC Retro, no, that's not the BOAC, BEA Retro AC19. ANA Triple Seven Three Hundred ER. Wow, that's a beauty. And American Triple Seven Two Hundred landing as well. Look at the. That must be somebody's roof. Wow, look at these beautiful pictures. Credit to the photographers who took those. And of course, we got some amazing photos from Texas airports in the Dallas area. Look at very nice Dallas Love Field and Fort Worth. Wow. And Dallas Love Field was the first airport in the Dallas area, so very cool right here. And here is Braniff Beauties. Look at all these colorful liveries from Braniff International. Honestly, Braniff International Airways is a very interesting airline and a very popular airline back in like 70s all the way to the 80s. So yeah, very nice styles from these photos right here. And yeah, these are like the contest, like the contest competitors. And yeah, let's see who gets first place. Take a look at these pictures right here. Many of these photographers did a fantastic job on capturing these photos and I'm glad to see them here at the competition table. My favorites have got to be the United 767-300ER landing at Heathrow, a United 777-300ER and the Continental Globe livery landing. Not sure what airport this is, but the photo is still cool. The United 767-400ER in the Evo Blue livery and the all Nippon Airways Boeing 777-300ER. Excellent work to these entries right here for these amazing shots. Really cool to see many of these here in the competition room like I said. So after exploring the competition room, I decided to head back to the ballroom and from there, I got to meet with a famous travel vlogger YouTuber. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the one and only Noel Phillips. He was one of the speakers scheduled to speak during the seminar. I am very fortunate to have an awesome chat with this guy. I have never met someone who is this famous on YouTube, so this was pretty much a new experience for me. Noel is a very nice guy to talk to, and I would highly recommend following his social media profiles including YouTube. He posts some amazing trip reports on his channel, and he does a great job on his narration. I hope I can meet him again soon. Here is a picture of a big scale model of a United Airlines Boeing 777-300ER in the Continental Globe livery. Really nice to get a picture of this because I do love these wide body big scale models. I think it looks very cool to see in person. And to follow that up, we have a United Airlines 787-8 Dreamliner in 1-200 scale. Also nice to see this at the convention. And given the fact I do have a 1-200 United 787-8 from Hogan Wings, it's nice to see another one from a different brand. This next model is quite special as we do have this Qantas Boeing 767-300ER in the Disney's planes livery. Now the reason why this plane is special is because this aircraft now flies for Mary Jet International bearing the registration November 373 Charlie Mike and is painted in the all white livery. I did get to see this exact aircraft at Sacramento International Airport back in April 2023 and I got a very nice shot of her landing on runway 35 left. I was very fortunate to catch a former Qantas 767, furthermore, one that was painted in a special livery. I think this model does look nice in 1-200 scale. Alright, we got a couple of more video clips to go into, and I'm also going to throw in some short model reviews as well. So with that being said, let's get into those videos. What's going on everybody, today I'll be reviewing the NG Mall's 1 for 100 scale a and a Boeing 777-200 in the Demon Slayer Commissioner Yabba livery. Looking at the front of the box, looking very nice, you got the a and a logo right there and the Demon Slayer logo, you got the Boeing 777 tiles right there and the CJ Image of the aircraft. You got Tengen Uzui on the top and Tanjiro Kamado on the bottom. Now as I put the aircraft on this side, you got some amazing diesel from the NG nose and like the engines right there, the Pratt New Whitney PW4000 engines. You got Tanjiro Kamado right there. And then you also got Tengen Uzui right there. You got the ANA logo and the aircraft registration is Julia Alpha 745 Alpha. Moving on to the starboard section of the aircraft. Here it is. So you got Tanjiro Kamado right there. And then you got another supporting character which is named Kyojiro Rengoku. And yeah, this model looks very nice. Really glad to have this model in my collection and I would highly recommend getting this model if you can find one on your retailer. 
Here is an exclusive look at the NG Malls Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental Mold. This is the mold sample from NG Malls and overall, I think the mold sample looks very nice. Let's have a look at the cockpit windows. So overall, the cockpit windows are printed okay. The nose shape looks very nice. I think the hump like this side right here should be fixed a little bit more. But other than that, the windows are printed very nicely in the forward cargo bin over there. Here's the middle section of the aircraft. GE and X engines looking very nice. Plays properly. Very nice as well. Here's the wing. Very nice as well. Like on how they added the detail of the wake wing tip. Here's the aft cargo bin right there. And the tail itself looking very nice as well. Looking onto the port side. Looking very nice. Here's the bottom view with the stand hole and the top view. And yeah, overall, the NG747 shape mold is looking very nice, and I can't wait to get my model soon. Here's a picture of the Gemini 200 Alaska Airlines Ember E175 operated by Skywest Airlines, the recent release. A nice model from the 1-200 department from Gemini Jets, and it is a beautiful model indeed. Now I ended up purchasing this model because I do want to represent this model from my San Diego day trip I had back in March 2023. Those two flights were amazing, and I'm very glad to acquire this model for my 1-200 collection. I do have those two flight reports on my channel already, so feel free to check those out if you want. And take a look at this absolute unit of Gemini 200 models. So it turns out I do have a picture of that one vendor table that had all of the 1-200 models. For a first timer at Airliners, this 1-200 lineup looks absolutely amazing, and this picture really speaks for itself. I see a few Southwest specials like Freedom 1, Florida 1, Lone Star 1, and the Desert Retro Livery, including some older releases as well. Let me know if you got a model from this vendor table. I am eager to see if they make a return next year. Another picture I want to show you guys is this beautiful display of airline tails. I've seen a couple of these at airports, but I never got a chance to buy one. While I didn't buy any of them during the convention, I am hoping I can get one at a cheaper price. I would love to have a United Evil Blue tail displayed in my room in the future. I also like the addition to the Airliners International 2022 booty bag as well. They were also here during last year's convention in Chicago, so it's nice for them to make a return here in Dallas. The next model I do want to show you guys is something that I'm really fortunate to see. Now, I was quite surprised to see this at one vendor table, so I decided to take a look at it for myself. And that is the Phoenix Models 1400 scale on the Pond Airways Boeing 767-300ER in the Demon Slayer livery, aka the Hashira Jet. Now besides aviation, I also have a love for anime as well, so it's really nice to see this model here at the convention. I think this Phoenix version does look very nice, and I'm eager to see if NG Models can actually do this model when they start doing their 767 mold in the future, hopefully by next year in 2024 or somewhere in mid-2024. But regardless, it's nice to see Phoenix Models knocking out this Demon Slayer livery in one for on scale, and it'll be pleasing for the anime and aviation lovers. Here is the Gemini Jets 1 for scale Delta Airlines McDonnell Douglas MD-88, the 2018 release registered November 903 Delta Echo. This was a very cool model to see at the convention, and for just $50, I think that's a good deal for a 2018 model. I would love to get it, but hopefully next time. I would like to have this for my Delta Airlines collection, but I'll pass for now. Maybe I'll get it by next year hopefully. But if you think this model looks amazing, think again with the Gemini Jets 2 brand up international Big Orange Boeing 747-200. This was also cool to see. The livery on this aircraft looks absolutely amazing. I don't have that many models from the Gemini Jets 2 product line, but seeing this beauty does tempt me to get this one in the future. And considering that DFW used to be a hub for Braniff International back then, this can explain why there are some Braniff models that are being sold, including the Braniff International vendor table at the far end of the convention hall. Next up, we have a beautiful cutaway model of a British Airways Concorde. Really cool to see a cutaway Concorde on display. You can see all the seats that are being laid out inside of the aircraft. The detail is also great as well. Great work to the manufacturer of this Concorde right here. Also, this particular aircraft registered Golf Bravo Oscar Alpha Golf is displayed at the Museum of Flight in Seattle and I did get to see this aircraft during my visit back in June 2022. So it's super cool to see a model form of this particular registration. And we also have another cutaway model and that is the Capital Airlines Super Constellation. Another cool model to see in person and I think the livery looks very nice on this aircraft. What I like about cutaway models is I get to see all the various seats and galleys that are being placed on this aircraft. 
it gives a broad look on what airlines used to do in the past. And just like the Concorde, there is a nice amount of details that are featured on this aircraft right here. Get ready Kansas City, Airliners International 2024 is going to be held in your area from June 26th to June 29th of 2024. Super excited for this convention. Not sure if I want to attend this convention or not because like it's somewhere in the middle or like midwestern US. But other than that, I'm super excited for Kansas City. I have never went there. You got this TWA super constellation right there. And overall, it's going to be a fun convention in Kansas City. See you on the 47th annual convention at Airliners 2024. And after another awesome day at the Collectible Show, I headed out to Founders Plaza later in the afternoon to attend the DFW spotting meetup hosted by Red River Aviation and JJ Skippy. I had a blast during this spotting meetup, and the video will appear on the top right corner so you can check it out for yourself. But regardless, that's gonna do it for the Day 2 vlog. In summary, it's pretty much the same thing as Day 1, but I'm glad to explore the competition room and meeting some famous people there. I didn't film too much while inside the ballroom because I want to save that for the Founders Plaza spotting meetup, but I at least got some various videos while I was inside. I'm looking forward to see what Day 3 has to offer. I'm eager to see what the prices would look like, and hopefully I can try filming more videos during that time. So with all being all said, that's gonna do it for today's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon. And if you want to see all my Airliners 2023 videos, then you can click on my playlist and you'll see all the videos I created during the convention itself. And don't forget to check out JJ Skippy's Airliners 2023 community playlist as well. We have over 200 videos and I'm excited to see more videos uploaded by other content creators including myself in the future. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.